What's up folks, welcome to a windy Northern Hills Golf Club. But we are here, it is the end of the lockdown in terms of being able to get on the golf course. So we are getting in a cheeky nine hole. It is six o'clock in the evening. Well, just before, it's quiet. There's a few people on the golf course, but we are gonna get some nine holes in. And here with the better half, and we are just gonna enjoy some quiet time together out in the sun, possibly top up the tan a little bit and hit some shots. So, off to the first tee. So, lovely drive off the first. A little bit of a wind from left to right, but it's put me in a prime position to be able to hit a second shot over the water probably leave it short of the bunker and give myself a pitch shot. It's gonna be interesting today because of not playing for about, probably about six weeks to be completely honest, so before the lockdown started. But uh, yeah, check out this shot. So I'm here and we're looking at that. So we're going over this water here, trying to leave it short of the bunker. And then the green is up just past the bunker on the left in between the two there. You probably see the flag just up there. So I'm gonna hit a nice easy shot, probably a five iron. Just get it up there, leave myself a nice little pitch in. Okay, so we did just not film the, t the shot that I just hit, but I hit the second shot and it went quite way right. And uh, I put myself in quite a difficult position. So have a look at this. So I was just here and I've just played it up towards the green. And I think that is actually really close. So we'll have a quick look now. Yeah, so as you can see, it landed pretty, uh, pretty good. I think it landed just over the slope, this little slope here that you can see and uh, rolled up onto the green. Yeah, probably about a good five, five feet away, four feet away. So I can roll that one in for a, a birdie. Did it hit the flag? Thanks, Say again. So, as you can see from the picture, the greens aren't in great shape and hence why that just took a straight left. Runners. It's a breed of duck. Oh, they're so cute! Hi! Oh, he's fine. So update, hit a nice four iron down there. I only had 75 yards in and hit a little uh, gap wedge. Tried to just control it a little bit because the wind was pushing it down and then just ran out to the back of the green, managed to get a two foot par. So I've gone par, par, par on the first three holes, which is nice. So heading onto the fourth now and it's quite a nice looking par three up the hill, quite open. But there's a bit of wind which is going to play on this, which is challenging. So there you go, you can see, heading on up, following that cart path between those two trees. So six iron came up a yard short of the green. Probably should have gone with a five 
winds blowing across slightly with i think but uh still not bad chip it up make the three if not chip it in No, it doesn't have to be a golf course. You can have land and make it what you want. Go, go, go. Oh, it's close. <laughs> Look like you have a cane. Look like you have a cane. Boom. An angry old man on the golf course. Right, Lauren. How much, if I can get this ball, which I've just found, in that hole? How much money? Yeah, what's it worth? <laughs> Ooh, we'll do it in pounds. A hundred pounds. Wow. AKA like $120. Right. Dang. So I've got a seven iron in hand. Is that you giving me the money? Or am I, I giving you the money? It, but, <laughs> but if you don't, do I get it? Punch off the path, two, two bounces in the rough, onto the green, and in. Oh! oh. <laughs> that looks like that didn't go as planned. Bring it back in, run it up onto the green, 361 yards. I guess if we're standing downwind, they're coming from over that way. So it turns out that the greens are a little more receptive than I thought. So when I played that pitch shot then, caught the front edge of the green over here and uh, didn't run. So I'm going to have to uh, make a good putt now, I think. Well, a difficult green and a poor misread led to a three putt bogey. So first one dropped, but it's gonna be the last one. Now it's time to make them all back. Stepping onto a long par five, which I really like. And uh, yeah, time to get the big stick out and just smack one downwind. So when I said aim just outside the black and white marker and then draw it in, uh, you can see the black and white marker over here behind us. And I'm probably about 50 yards to the right because the wind came off the right rather than it being downwind. So it pushed it a bit and I started it on the right hand side of the black and white post. But we've got a shot here. I'm probably 130 yards from the flag. And yeah, that was absolutely nutted off the tee. Um, estimate would be nearly 400 yards, but we're not going to go into details. So you can see here, ball. I'm right by the tree, but just there, you can see the flag. So, little wedge up on the green. Let's do it. So, walking on up, driver wedge. Managed to clear the bunker. I knocked it to about six foot. So this will be a nice eagle attempt. No. Oh. Knock it in. So I should have learned after the, the tee shot on the par five that the wind is off the left, not with. So I took a three wood thinking that it was gonna keep it a little bit more down the fairway. And again, started just right at the black and white marker and it faded off into the trees. So let's go and find that one, shall we? Found it. So I think it caught this tree as it was coming down and it's just dropped down here. 
So now I've got a little bit of a tricky punch shot. I'm just gonna let these kids come by uh, up to the flag. We're just looking at around a good 50 yards. Hit a decent shot up onto the green, but I just went through slightly. So we are here, um, just in the background, is where I am on the bank. I'm just going to pitch it down with a little nine iron up towards the hole. I'm going to run it in. It's a little bit downhill as we get closer to the flag, but uh, yeah, it's just going in. Nice. <laughs> right, eighth hole, last one. Calling it a drive after this, so I'm gonna hit the driver for the last time. Black and white marker is here, and the green just goes down a bit of a bank. So 350 yards, hit the driver just to the right of the black and white post. Give it a good old smack. Okay, so found it. I was a little unsure. We're probably about 50 yards offline left. The wind is coming this way, but this is all out of bounds here. So I was a little concerned that I was going in that. Thankfully, we've come kind of through this gap, I think, down to here. And this is the kind of shot we're facing. So a little bit of, the green's a little bit above us, but it's gonna be nice to just kind of play it up and let it run out a little bit towards the flag. Go on then, let's see what you got. Bumpy and like sandy. Yeah. Super dry. I was just saying, level part of this point, we're doing all right here. Eh? Last hole, par three. I do kind of like this hole. It's uh, got good memories. I played here in a competition a few months back, and when was it actually? It was February, wasn't it? February. A couple of months back, and I wasn't doing too too good. Got to this got to this hole, and I hit a seven iron up onto the green, and I was probably about 50 foot away, and it was quite a treacherous putt, and if it went past the hole, it was going off the green, and I managed to sink it, so got some fun memories on this one. So hopefully, stick it a little bit closer, but recreate the score. So it looks pretty decent from here. Again, if I zoom in, you've got the three bunkers on the left, you've got that bunker on the right, guarding the green. Relatively kind of simple over the back, but it's quite a nice little setup, that one. Eight iron, don't know whether it's enough, I'm gonna smack it hard. Big boy. Nice. Down the flag, but it's gotta go. Okay, so coming up to the green now, it seems like I've overshot it a little bit, but the ball's tracking straight down the flag and actually it's pitched here. Yeah, right there. And it's run out to the back here. So I was quite a long way away. I probably should have gone with the club less, but uh, nonetheless, same as the seventh, chip it up close, knock it in. You never know, you might get lucky for a chip in as well. There you have it folks, tapped in the par putt. So finish the round level par after nine. I'm only playing nine holes tonight, just getting out, having a bit of a walk, chatting with the better half, and just taking it easy. So thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you all real soon. Oh man, look at the colours of the green and the blue together. Look fantastic.
gotta lift my hand off sometimes. 